Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 8th of 2021, well, it is titled NGC 1365 Majestic Island Universe. So what is this? Well, what is an island universe? An island universe is another name for a galaxy. And if we wish to think about it, about 100 years ago, there was a good debate in, in astronomical circles about what these galaxies actually were. And they were sometimes called island universes or spiral nebulae. And we did not know at the time, again, just 100 years ago, whether these objects were part of our own galaxy, our Milky Way, and that was the entire universe or if they were actually island universes own galaxies of their own off in the distance much further away and it wasn't until the 1920s when Edwin Hubble made measurements of variable stars in the Andromeda galaxy to be able to determine that it was indeed outside of our galaxy now this is an example of a barred spiral galaxy and we can see a bar going through the center kind of a bar of stars that the spiral arms don't just wind directly down to the core there's kind of a bar in between them kind of diagonally there and the spiral arms seem to come off of that and we note that spiral galaxies come in two distinct classes which are the barred spirals and an ordinary spiral. And in fact, our own Milky Way galaxy is believed to be a barred spiral based on measurements. Now the spiral galaxies are star are galaxies that show signs of recent star formation. So what we can see is some evidence of star formation, especially within the spiral arms. And we can tell that by looking at the coloration that we see there, including the blue stars. So the bluish tinge to the uh, arms means that there are lots of blue stars there. And we also see the pink hydrogen region scattered around them which are big star forming regions that are also a part of the galaxy. And those are two features that we see in some galaxies like spirals and irregular galaxies that have ongoing star formation. Other types of galaxies such as ellipticals we will not see those blue stars and we will not see those pink hydrogen regions meaning that they have not been forming stars for a long period of time. Now down towards the center of this is a supermassive black hole. And we are finding that supermassive black holes are at the center of just about every galaxy we study. So a very massive concentration of material. This includes our own Milky Way with a supermassive black hole about 4 million times the mass of our sun. And that is there at the center and that does kind of give some fuel at the center as material slowly spirals into the black hole mass is converted into energy and given off and gives the centers of some of these galaxies very uh, uh, higher amounts of energy than we would otherwise expect. And that gives us what we call the active galaxies and it's because not because they have a black hole at their core but because that black hole is active actively being fed material is actually being entered into the black hole and that is where it is being converted to energy that we can then see it is true that of course once something crosses into a black hole crosses what we call the event horizon we can know nothing about it and at that point no energy can escape nor any other information however before that happens we can release energy and we can see that evidence uh, to let us know that there are black holes at the centers of nearly every galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for January the 8th. NGC 1365 Majestic Island Universe. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.